Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and I decided to watch the rebooted Lion King movie again, for the second time, because I have a feeling, I mean, I wanted to know whether or not if I was being too judgmental or overly critical when I saw it in theaters. So I wanted to see it again, and I have Disney Plus, so I was able to watch after I finished watching The Clone Wars uh, Season 7 uh, premiere, I had watched The Lion King again, the rebooted one that came, well, that came out last year. And I still can't, like, hold to what I said in my video, in my review of the rebooted Lion King. The rebooted Lion King <sighs> does not hold up to this version. This version is better, ultimately. The things that I still like in the movie is Hakuna Matata, Ken, uh, Just Can't Wait to Be King, and uh, Lion Sleeps Tonight. Those are the three songs that are my favorite. And I do like also that I've I've, I've seen it again. Do like the whole be prepared scene as well, because it kind of makes it more sinister. And I don't remember if I liked it the first time around, because maybe I was just going there trying to unknowingly compare it to the original. But when I saw it this time around, I liked it. And I still liked how Scar... Like the whole love triangle thing. That Scar is kind of jealous that Mufasa got Sarabi. That Mufasa got uh, is king and it wasn't him. And I... I do like Scar's uh, character in here. Like They actually gave us more of a reasoning of why Scar was so jealous of his brother and his own nephew and uh i still love uh the bit where we saw nala sneak out i still think they should have extended the whole one mufasa was talking to simba from the clouds scene a bit more uh the part where they made a the beauty and the beast reference I feel like I would have been fine with it if, and only if, they had the Mr. Pig part later on. Like, I'm okay with Pumbaa standing up to, like, the hyenas as bullies, just, I would have liked to have seen the, so I'm like, oh, oh, egg no, you, are, are, you're talking to me? Oh no! You you are you talking to me? You better not be talking to me. I you better not be calling me Mr. Pig. I do not like when when people try to bully me because I'm a pig. I set up the bullies because so back off, hyenas! Because I am Mr. Pig. And then attack. And then how that part ended could have been the same way. Just has like a variation of the Mr. Pig in there somewhere. I think she would have and should have been there. Uh, I still stand by the kid actors. Like, first Nala and Simba were fine. Uh, even though I do admit, James Earl Jones, I feel like. I liked his performance. Not saying that he was bad in this movie. I liked his performance better in here. But I felt like I was a bit too critical on his performance when I did my review a few months ago. And But he did a pretty good job in this movie too. I feel like the song that I hated in this movie is Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Because it's supposed to be of Rome, like... It's supposed to be like romantic feel set at night and stuff like that. It still has some sort of romantic feel. But I don't get the feeling that it was 
set at night. It's still sunny as it is. Practically it's now it seems like. There was no romance to it, you know? And I know they have they could do scenes at nighttime because they had like four or five different scenes at the very least at nighttime. So they could have had it where the sun was setting and some parts of it being dark when uh then like towards like halfway through have it be nighttime. That way I wouldn't hate Kenny for the Love Tonight in the rebooted version so much, but it didn't grasp me, like, pull me into the scene, really. Like, it took me out. The, they sort of had that scene more dark. The acting overall could have been a bit, like, I, I preferred the acting in here more. And I preferred the animus, animus, the animation in here more. Because the lions in here... I'm okay with, like, Pumbaa, how Pumbaa, Timon, and every other creature looks. But the lions are, like, the main key, man. Simba, Nala, Mufasa, Scar, Sarabi. Yeah, you can extend that emotion through your voice, but... Doing it through your voice is only half the job. Showing that emotion with their voice in the face. That pulls it off even more. And. I. They do look like real lions. So I'll give them that. But. And that was good. If they were trying to go for it. But the downside is. It lacked facial expression. Facial expression that could have made the movie. Even more entertaining to watch. Because, I would say it up front, the movie was entertaining to watch. Regardless if I prefer the original over the reboot, or the reboot over the original. Regardless, I still find found the reboot enjoyable. It could have been better. If they played their cards right, I could have liked it better than this version. The Lion King... Is, if you ask me, what's my favorite animated movie? It has to be between The Lion King and Mulan and Beauty and the Beast. At least in the top three, anyways. But the rebooted version of The Lion King is like, even though it was still entertaining and it was still pretty decent, it did not, in my opinion, come close to this. And I do, I'm so, like, butthurt, or, brain, like, mad that they didn't have the scrubs, but no, no, Because that's, that's my favorite part of for Raviki. That, that part, that they sort of had it where, in the final battle, had it kind of like a recreation part when Rafiki saved Sasu. Because I like the noises that Rafiki made in the anime movie. It was great. They... That that was awesome. That was goofy. They even showed Rafiki was a badass while still being goofy. It was awesome. There were some things like the that they. I just felt like this movie got more things right than the rebooted version. And does the reboot version show that? Every, there are some classics that should not be remade. Yes, I know. Yes, not all anime movies or classics should be rebooted into live action or animated or vice versa. Or rebooted in general. Like Star Wars. The first six Star Wars movies were pretty good. Yes, the, they had some problems, especially in the prequels, but they shouldn't be rebooted. I'm keeping the Disney Star Wars out on purpose. The Lion King should not be rebooted. Monster Inc. I can't see being rebooted. Aladdin is one of those movies that could get away with being rebooted. And I'm saying that because I enjoyed the movie. Uh, this 
the first one we got for the Lion King should not have been the thing we got in, for the Lion King that rebooted first. I mean, it should have been better. It, but it wasn't. But I do like the music. Like in terms of like the actual music, taking away the scenery and just listening to the music, I do like the music. The Circle of Life was literally a shot by shot play of the original Circle of Life. My favorite song in here has to be the line, uh, Just Can't Wait to Be King. And, uh, then in second place, Lion Sleeps Tonight. Then third is Hakuna Matata. Then the fourth is Be Prepared. Even though that's not really a song in this, the rebooted version, but, you know. But, yeah, it... I had high expectations for this movie. I was still mad that they're making a live action, or live action re remake, which I refuse to call it, like, outside of that one time I just said it now, I refuse to call the rebooted one uh, live action because it doesn't have any human. For me, live action is like Lady and the Tramp, Aladdin, uh, the MCU, uh, the Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles. The trilogy that came out in the 1990s and the Michael Bay Turtles. Assuming they make a live action or rebooted for some of the Incredibles movies. The Incredibles, Chronicles of Narnia, Pirates of the Caribbean, Harry Potter, The Fantastic Four, uh, The Jungle Book. Those I will consider as live action. For The Lion King, I don't consider it live action. I consider it as, it as a reboot, not a live action. So, yeah, which is why I, like, maybe like a few times when I slip up, I will never call the new Lion King a live action. Because it's not. The musical is a live action version of The Lion King. The movie that came out last year is a reboot. There's a difference. A reboot that's telling the same story as this and the Broadway version. And the Festival of the Lion King, pretty much. So, that's my two cents about it. What's your guys' two cents about it? Do you guys enjoy the rebooted Lion King? What are your favorite parts to the rebooted? What's your least favorite parts to the rebooted? And which one do you guys prefer? The original or the reboot? Preferably, I prefer the original over the reboot, but that's just me. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for joining uh, and watching, and I'll catch you guys later in the next live or next video. And if you guys want to meet me, quick update announcement. If you guys want to meet me, I'll be going to C2E2, which is going to be at the McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, n next weekend, uh, I'm going to go on that Saturday, so, go on the C2E2 website and buy your ticket, because I'm going to be there, I'm not going to be one of those special guests, I'm going to be cosplaying as a Jedi, so, like I said, if you guys want to meet me, I'll be at C2E2 on Saturday, next Saturday, so, uh, thank you all for joining, have a nice day, love you all, and I'll s talk to you guys soon.